All right. Uh, my name is Mike Tassin. This is my tutorial. Um, I'm going to cover a couple things that I just think that we need to have a little um, minor refreshment on. I mean, I haven't taken Revit in two and a half years, three years maybe. Um, I took that BIM class, BIM 1, a while ago. That was my freshman year. Um, so this is just a simple tutorial, something that um, just to help you get set up if you're having any trouble. Um, so there's actually two things I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to talk to you about how uh, you can create elevations and sections and what the purposes are. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is elevations. And if you look at my screen, I am screen sharing. Let's make sure that that is what is going. Let's go to screen share. I'm on my screen one. There's screen one. We're good. Alrighty. So if you look, these little bubbles right here with the pigtail coming out or the tail coming out pointing towards the building is a elevation. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. Um, that way I can show you how I do them. And we'll push delete. It's going to ask, do you want to delete it? It'll be deleted. Oh no. Yes. I don't care. Uh, let's get that out of there too. And that one, I don't know why that didn't delete. All right. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your view tab and then there's this little house right here. It's elevation. There's also one for framing elevation. We're just going to do the normal. Um, whenever you, and you can see this is auto rotating. Whenever you, you place an elevation this way, if you don't just copy and paste, if you just click, 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 it'll auto rotate and auto face the building or structure that you have. And that's only going to happen if you have walls up. I have walls up right now. Um, but when you get this point cloud, um, you're not going to have walls yet. You're going to have to model those in later. Um, so you're going to go ahead and put your elevations north, east, south, and west. Um, we're going to pretend that we didn't have any walls here. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this one opposite. Okay. Oh, come on. So you're going to have to click on your circle or your elevation. I'm going to flip it around. I'll show you I did that again. Okay. So I'm going to click on the elevation. I'm going to push RO on your keyboard. You're going to get aligned with that tail. You're going to click and you're going to go 90 degrees. So that's 180 degrees right there. And that's going to show you this entire side of the building. Um, so go ahead and right click. And I think you can even double click on this too. But um, go ahead and click on it. Let's go to go to, where's my go to view? Okay, whatever. So we're going to double click on it. Well, that's why I was trying to modify it. Um, so, sorry, forgot it just a little bit right there. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to this tail that's pointing towards the building. You're going to go to go to elevation view, and you're going to be able to see the building. Um, we're going to change this just a little bit. We'll go to wireframe. And now you can see your point cloud. Your air handling units right here. You got a um, intake coming on the bottom on the other side and then coming out of the roof of that. You got another one with a ladder leading against it. You got more piping up there. You got a, a heating element up there. You got a, it looks like a cabinet, trash cans, shop vac. Um, some more something down here and it looks like you might have like a concrete pad or even something that kind of butts out in the building um that's how you get your elevation view um, so let's go ahead and go back to our level one let's go look at that right now and the next thing that we're going to do is creating sections so the first thing you need to do whenever you're making uh, sections is that you're going to have to go to your floor plan. Um, this right here is level one. So go ahead and go again to your view tab. Here's our section right here. It's a bubble with the arrow on it. Um, you can see that your cursor is now wanting to um, join to any of those little small dots in the point cloud. You can see there's a whole bunch. There's a big grid on it. Um, so go ahead and get that cursor. 
whenever you're putting a section, the length that you put it is what you're gonna see. So if you put six foot of a wall, you're gonna see six foot of water. You're not gonna see the whole side. Uh, in this case, I wanna see these air handling units and where this ladder is. So I'm gonna click on the one side of the, one of the air handling units and come to the other. Alrighty. So if you can't see that, let's click on that line, the section that we just drew. Right now, this box is over here facing whatever boiler or you see this concrete pad that comes down. Um, and the way that you're gonna flip this is actually just by these little two arrows right here. They're side to side, side by side, and you flip it. So we flipped it. This arrow right here enables you to um, move this way. Another one on this section moves this way. So anything inside this box, you're going to see. So I want to see all of that right there. Um, you know what? I don't really want to see the ladder. So let's go ahead and move this. Ooh, what just happened there? Um, let's move this. Move it right in front of the ladder. And then we're going to click out, click back in. And we're going to go to that view. I got it really close to that. So that must be the other line. All right, so we're going to right click on that line, that section, and go to view. And you're going to be able to see it right here. Um, another thing that's really sweet about this kind of, um, um, I don't know, thing that you do, I don't know what else to call it, um, is that if you have your line, this is where you're going to be standing, and then you have that dotted line, that square, anything in front of you, like I said, you see. But as you move that dotted square, past items, you're seeing nothing, like you're not seeing what's behind that line anymore. So anything that's making all this, I don't know, noise in the background or uh, just, it just looks dark and um, there's nothing back there, um, or sorry, there is a lot of stuff back there. It looks, crowd is what I'm trying to say. Um, you can see better piping. That's what I've, that's what I've done here. I've, I've brought it forward and I can see this pipe. Um, this right here is going to be the uh, outflow going up to the roof and same thing with this one and then down here is where we have the air coming in. Um, so let's go back. Let's change this just a little bit. We'll go to our level one and here's our line. Here's our box. Sorry. Um, and I don't want to see all that jargon. So that's over here. So I'm going to put it about in the middle and we're going to click right click and go to view. Now, if you can see, now all you see is um, what's coming into the unit and what's going out, and then an overhead pipe right here. And you can see this pipe right here that's going away from you. It's not vertical, it's horizontal going away. Um, this is really nice because you model easier. Um, it's, it's, it's a good feature. So definitely utilize that. Um, keep watching these videos. Keep watching the LinkedIn. Make sure that you're doing your homework on that. Um, it's really going to help you in this class. Thank you.